Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what are the things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutor's feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au. Register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. We all know about bacteria, viruses, and microscopic protozoa. We can watch the way that these tiny agents move into our bodies and damage our organs. We have a growing understanding of how our body mounts defensive strategies that fight off these invaders, and have built some clever chemical that can help mount an assault on these bio-villains. Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy.
The term summary and abstract are often used interchangeably resulting in some confusion. This problem arises because there are two distinct types of abstracts, descriptive and informative. The informative abstract is sometimes called summary, the descriptive is not. The descriptive abstract is usually only two or three sentences in length. Hence it is not a summary or very informative. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks, computer communication across the internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. The asteroid that slammed into the moon 3.8 billion years ago, creating the Imbrium Basin may have had a diameter of at least 150 miles. According to a new estimate, the work helps explain puzzling geological features on the moon's near side, and has implications for understanding the evolution of the early solar system. The United States is at present the world's market for motor cars and trucks, an agent for the U.S. Bureau of Foreign and Domestic Commerce reports a prosperous condition of affairs prevailing in Japan, which is buying more automobiles, especially large cars, than ever before.
The human animal's status as the only clever tool user who can talk about our feelings is crumbling. Prairie dogs can make up words for new animals. Crows are born with the ability to make tools. Elephants recognize and stroke the bones of a lost family member. As biologists delve into these subjects, they're demonstrating that we're not nearly as unique as we once thought. When buying a house, for example, it's best to let our unconscious mull over the many variables. But when we're picking stocks and shares, intuition often leads us astray. The trick is to determine when to lean on which part of the brain. And to do this, we need to think harder and smarter about how we think. Tasmania is a large and relatively sparsely populated island off the south coast of Australia. The island is of particular interest to natural scientists who go there to research the unique wildlife. Tasmania has, for example, 12 species of bird that are not found anywhere else in the world. Karl Marx is arguably the most famous political philosopher of all time, but he was also one of the great foreign correspondents of the 19th century. During his 11 years writing for the New York Tribune, their collaboration began in 1852. Marx tackled an abundance of topics, 
from issues of class and the state to world affairs. Never has the world of journalism been so explosive, so global, and so competitive. Forget hourly news flashes, we live in a world of 24-hour breaking news with radio and TV stations and internet sites updating stories by the minute and newspapers adjusting to stay fresh, in-depth, and relevant. Today's technological market is dominated by two contrasting business models, the generative and the non-generative. The generative models the PCs, Windows and Macs of this world allow third parties to build upon and share through them. The non-generative model is more restricted. Appliances might work well, but the only entity that can change the way they operate is the vendor. Globalization has affected what we eat in ways we are only beginning to understand. Modern food production no longer related to our biological needs, but is in direct conflict with them. The relationship between diet and our fertility, our cancer, heart diseases and mental illness is becoming clear. Yet much of our food is nutritionally bankrupt.
Margaret Simons explains the changes taking place in the Australian media. She analyzes audiences, our major media organizations, the role of government, the implications of all of these for our society, and our democracy. Her examination leads her to the conclusion that the challenges facing the content providers in the modern world are part of a broader striving. Tesla came over from Graz and went to work for Thomas Edison. Nonetheless, Edison offered him a job, promising Tesla $50,000. If Tesla could redesign Edison's breakdown-prone DC generator designs, the new generator designs were a vast improvement over Edison's originals. Upon completing the job Tesla went to Edison to collect the $50,000 promised for the task. The development of easy-to-use statistical software has changed the way statistics is being taught and learned. Students can make transformations of variables, create graphs of distributions of variables, and select among statistical analyses all at the click of a button. However, even with these advancements, students sometimes still find statistics to be an arduous task. Parents can communicate their personal feelings about undesirable programs, both by discouraging their children from watching them, and by writing to their local television station. The public does have a voice, 
not all programs need to please everybody. We do have a choice of programs, and we also have a choice for ourselves and at least for our younger children. Parents need to take control of the television viewing of preschoolers and children of early school age. A workable technique is to make a simple, but firm weekly plan as to what programs will be permitted, and how much time overall may be spent in viewing. Any child's weekly schedule normally involves a certain amount of time for school, naps, outdoor play and indoor play. By beginning so early, he knows that he has plenty of time to do thoroughly all the work he can be expected to do, all his work having been finished in good time, he has a long interval of rest in the evening before the timely hour when he goes to bed, after a sound night's rest, he rises early next morning in good health and spirits for the labors of a new day. Each tube-shaped mic robot is a sandwich of three materials, a graphene outer layer, which binds to heavy metals, a middle layer of nickel, which gives the bots magnetic polarity, so they can be pulled through wastewater with magnets, and platinum inside for propulsion, just add a bit of peroxide to the wastewater, and it'll react with the platinum to form water and oxygen bubbles.
To understand the past you have to be able, as far as possible, to think as the people in the period you are studying thought. The example of what it must have been like to be a peasant in the Middle Ages is used. However, sensibilities change over time and we can't completely throw off the mentality of the present. Therefore, every age will have a slightly different perspective on the same period of the past, no matter what the facts are. A university is not a business, more precisely, a not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners it is a public trust. Without owners, it has no one to pay dividends to and no one for whom it must maximize its profits. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. Britain, then, was slower to create and develop a police force than the rest of Europe. France had one long before indeed. The word police is taken from the French. This fact was not unimportant, as the very idea of a police force was seen as foreign that is, and particularly undesirable, and was generally regarded as a form of oppression. This study marks the first time scientists have linked dike formation to large, damaging earthquakes, and Wathier is looking back through history for more examples. She says researchers will never be able to predict exactly when an earthquake might strike after a dike intrusion, but at least now, 
Researchers and Rift Zone residents know they're not just in for bangs they may also be in for shutters. Study author Samuel Sheehan, a materials scientist, says this smart glass is cheaper than others and uses minimal power, much less, for example, than something like a curling iron, and since it's flexible and foldable, he says it could even be used for things like camouflage uniforms to switch, for example, from green and brown to white and gray. This would be very useful when the background landscape suddenly changes such as during early snowfall. For example, while bouncing around the savanna in your jeep, you might think, this safari has been a lot of fun, it would be cool to work as a park ranger and see giraffes every day. Speaking of work, is it time for a career change? Am I really doing the work I was meant to do? Should I change jobs? The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing of bud burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars. Of course. That are important. But the knock-on effect is on nesting birds. Which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars.
The initial thud comes from when those dorsal bursae collide, and the reverberation results from the vibrations that linger when the tissues pull apart. The bursae have to be somewhat sticky for the clapping together and snapping apart to produce noise with the correct loudness and pitch. That stickiness comes courtesy of the mucus. But they did find something that had a much bigger impact on wildlife, habitat quality. The best predictor of wildlife abundance was not human activity, but factors like forest connectivity, nearby housing density, and the amount of adjacent agriculture. The results were published in the Journal of Applied Ecology. In Japan, the tea ceremony is a ritual like formalism, in which green tea you prepare and serve to multiple guests in a tea full setting. The ceremony can take as long as four hours, and there are many tradition gestures that the server and the guests must perform. History rubs shoulders and often overlaps with many other areas of research, from myths and epics to the social sciences, including economics, politics, biography, demography, and much else besides. Some histories are almost pure narratives, while others go in for detailed, tightly focused analyses of, for example, the parish records of a Cornish village in the 16th century.
Humans need to use energy to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms. But those that are most concerning. Because of their impact on health. Resulting from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. However, experienced you or your staff may be in a particular field if you are thinking of introducing a service to a new area. It is important to find out what the local population thinks about it first. The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in the strandlopers, ancient people who lived on the coastline, because of their connection to the sea. As a child he had spent a lot of time by the sea, exploring and collecting things. Therefore, he began to study them and discovered some interesting information about their way of life and how they hunted.
For centuries, Atlantis has been one of the Western world's favorite legends, a tantalizing blend of fantasy and mystery. Stories tell of a rich and glorious empire that was lost to the sea where some hope its ruins still lie, waiting to be discovered. Dolphins, whales and porpoises are all social animals, but some species are more sociable than others. This depends on the environment, because species adopts the lifestyle most suitable to them. Among dolphins, forming groups makes it easier for them to find food, reproduce and gain knowledge. They are safer, too, because dolphins can communicate danger when there are threats around. It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all. Heavily hunted species, like white-tailed deer, gray squirrels, and raccoons, were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators preferred them. The second group that is particularly vulnerable are night shift workers, and the third group that is particularly vulnerable are people with sleep disorders, particularly sleep apnea. One out of three men and one out of six women have sleep apnea, 
and yet, 85% are undiagnosed and untreated, and it more than doubles the risk of crashes. Many non-Japanese know a thing or two about traditional tea ceremony, its history, intricacies and religious origins. However, few people outside Japan have a deep understanding of the esoteric meaning of the practice. Indeed, even in Japan, the secret meaning of tea ceremony is little understood except by those who have devoted their lives to the discipline. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.